Hi, I'm Mark, and I collect things. Sometimes I haven't played things, and today we're opening a box of 2024 Marvel Flare. Each hobby exclusive box contains 12 packs with 4 cards per pack and an insert per pack. The base cards and the Flareum cards all contain brand new original artwork. Chase cards include numbered parallels, artist autographs, and sketch cards at long odds. I pre-ordered my box for $225 here at the time of filming. The going rate online is about $250. Now that the wrapper's off, here's a look at the pack odds if you want to freeze the video and see all the different things that you can find in this product. I'll also make sure to include a link to the Beckett checklist in the description of this video. Alright, here's pack number 1 out of 12. The top of the pack is a Sam Wilson base card. Next up, a Black Panther base card. Very cool artwork on that one. Then the insert is a Canonical Blast of Ghost Spider. Very cool. Take a look at the back of this one real quick. This is CS21. I think there's 100 total of these divided up into four groups of 25. Then the last card of the pack is a Flarium of Sentry. That looks like Simone Bianchi art to me. Take a look at the back of this one. And it is, in fact, Simone Bianchi there at the bottom, artist on front of the card. And it's pretty cool. It also lists the original publication artist, John Romita Jr. That's awesome. And this is a very high-numbered flare room, 55 out of 60. So this is a Tier 6, which is the most difficult to pull. And I think these Tier 6 Flareum, which are card numbers 51 through 60, fall 1 out of every 15 packs. Definitely a good pull. Let's also take a look at one of the base cards and see if the artists are credited there as well. We do have also on just the regular base cards, both the original publication artist and the artist who did the new original art for the card. That's awesome. I absolutely love to see this. Not only is the card artist credited, but also the artist for the comic that's pictured on the back of the card. All right, pack number two out of 12. Got a Namor base card. A Nova base card. The insert is going to be a Solar Flare of Magneto. It's got a neat foil pattern there in the background. There are short prints of these also, so let's see what number this is. This is number 36. I think this is one of the super short print ones, actually. I believe 31 through 40 are the super short prints. I have the odds of those listed at 1 out of 27, so this is a great pool. And after that one, a Thing Flarium. This is 24. All right, pack number three out of 12. These packs are difficult to open, although that one came open right away. A Bullseye base card. Magneto base card, very cool. I think the insert's always gonna be the third card. We've got a Power Blast of Quicksilver. Kind of similar to the Vintage Flare inserts. On the back we should see the full artwork. This is PB25. The artist is credited on this one, so I guess the Power Blast might also be new original artwork. I don't think this is one of the short prints. I think 26 and higher are the short printed ones. And the last card of the pack, this, oh wow, this is an amazing Silver Surfer. Looks like probably Galactus's hand back there. John Wayshack is the artist. John Bashima, the original publication artist. What a great card this one is. Very cool. All right, pack number four. Got a Captain Marvel base card. Very good looking one. A Black Bolt base card. Then the insert is a Captain Marvel acrylic aether. A little bit of rainbow foil on it. I'm gonna go ahead and get a sleeve before we look at the back. There are also short prints of these. Let's see, this is AA6, so not one of the short print ones. That little bit of extra rainbow foil on the card makes it really interesting. All right, and the last card of the pack, the Flarium of Iron Man. This one by Dave Palumbo. Very cool artwork. All right, pack number five. Mighty Thor base card, an Iceman base card, 
Very good artwork. I like this one. And then the insert is a solar flare of Mr. Fantastic. Let's see if it's a short print or not. 14, I don't think that is a short print. And behind that one, a Captain America Flarium. It's like Tom Morgan artwork. Pretty cool that you get to see him before and after the Super Soldier Serum. All right, pack number six. An Electra base card. Sprite base card. The insert is a canonical blast of Luke Cage. And the flarium of the pack is a Thor. Though I'm not sure I see Thor on here. I do see his hammer there. Mostly see Ultron. All right, so that's half of the box. This is pack number seven. Silver Surfer base card. Looks great. Black Knight base card. And then, hey, we got a magic number card out of 199. So 21 out of 199. It's kind of got a dark blue foil effect on it. And it looks like this is a Winter Flare. Thought by Todd Knock. This is a cool numbered parallel. I think we're going to have to take Magneto's spot here. All right, and then the Flarium card of that pack is Mary Jane Watson. All right, pack number eight. a frost base card black widow base card the insert is another power blast of iron man and the flarium card is captain america all right pack number nine out of 12 oh this card is this card's pretty thick uh so we might have one of the manufactured relics or something in this one it's gonna be interesting to see what it is All right, and we got a pin flare of Invisible Woman. This is super cool. It's kind of got an enamel pin there embedded in the card. No flarium in that pack, but that's okay since we got this giant insert in it. All right, pack number 10 out of 12. A Nihilus base card. Colossus base card, that is a great looking card. And the insert is a solar flare of Nova. Card number 16. It's not one of the short printed ones. And the flarium is Thor. What a cool card this is. Looks like we have Thor fighting the world serpent there. This is another Dave Palumbo card. And 49, so one of the higher tier. I think tier 5. Alright, pack number 11. Next to last pack of the box. Got a Craven base card. Ooh, a Carnage base card. That looks great. The insert of the pack is a canonical blast of Jubilee. And then for the Flarium, the Fantastic Four. Art by Tom Morgan. All right, last pack of the box. Pack number 12. Got a Hercules base card, Kang base card, insert is a Solar Flare of Colossus, looks great. It's number three, so not short print. Then a Captain America Flarium, number 29. Do a quick recap of the box, here are the Flarium cards I pulled, which fall about one per pack. The artwork on these is really good. We did get this Simone Bianchi Sentry, which I think is a tier six, card number 55. For the inserts, we got four solar flares, and I think this Magneto is a super short print. We also got three canonical blasts, two power blasts. I don't think either of these are short print. They look great though, the foil's really cool. And we got an acrylic aether of Captain Marvel. This is a very cool insert. I like acetate cards, but I like that it's not completely clear that there's a little bit of a gradient on the top of the bottom and some rainbow foil on it to spice it up a little bit. 
We also got this Winter Flare numbered card of Magic, serial numbered out of 199. Great looking card. Then the Pin Flare of Invisible Woman. Let me know down in the comments which card or insert out of these is your favorite. I think one of my favorites I pulled is this Flarium Silver Surfer card. The artwork is awesome on it. I believe this is the fourth Flare set. The originals were back in 1994 and 95. Those sets are super cool. If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more collectible related content, I encourage you to consider liking and subscribing. That would help out my channel. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.